Hey there, my name is Hannah and I am playing Portal 2. This is part of the E2 task level 3, which is playing in an educational environment. I have chosen Portal for this one, which is a very great game. I am really glad that I am playing it right now. So during this, I will be demonstrating an educational activity that can be used in a classroom context and also to engage students better than just worksheets and that. So from my just playing this now, I am just really excited to play this and I think students should be able to be excited about this too. It is a lot of fun. It is it's like actually connecting to them at a personal level too, like because they are the you know, the Gen Z gen generation. They've been exposed to this like all this technology that is coming through and I think that's important that we bring that into the classroom which we would have to soon with the Horizon reports saying that game-based learning will be implemented into classrooms in two years time so teachers need to prepare for that. So from what I'm playing now there are different levels that these I'm going to just say the test chambers because that's what they're called in the game what tests the students minds so this can be used in science, maths, technology and also for digital technologies curriculum that is coming out next year so for the maths aspect of this would be just calculation they were calculating like angles where they would go and where to put their portal it's I actually quite interesting like they would say that maths doesn't have any real world uses but we can see here that it's giving them use in this game environment and also science with the use of forces and like yeah stuff like that so both games here are generally divided into the test chambers that I mentioned before and the object of each chamber is to get to the exit door which is up there from before so for this chamber there is a weighted cube that needs to be on, a, on switches for the door to open and of course you've got your always partner in crime the portal gun that will shoot the portals around the room at this stage of the game you only have the blue portal active while the orange one is placed somewhere in the room you have to use that to you know get the cubes from where they are and put them onto the switches that they need to go so even the creator of this game Gabe Newell, Newell sorry if I pronounced that wrong uh, has stated that like Portal and Portal 2 are both towards education and I've got a quote here that says it doesn't see divide between making a game that can do well and be educational and it's already working on like lesson plans that can be used around this game. So from what I've seen with this game I see that they can play this game either by themselves or in cooperative play which is actually a feature in Portal 2. So they can play through this game looking at the game environment itself like where do they need to go, what can they use in it, you know just identifying the features of the environment and just seeing that basic goal. Like, I think that goal is great that they have to get to the exit. It's setting them like a, a purpose straight away and just using like the game environment for it. So there are actually more stuff besides this. It gets more complex as you go along using different gels, forces, jump panels. It's like it's sort of a difficulty curve. It just keeps going up, getting more difficult as it goes along. But I think that's the pace that it goes, that students will be able to catch on to it quick. It's all trial and error basically. So, if I'm playing this game after, I think that they could use the Teach with Portals program, which is also includes a puzzle maker where they can edit levels and create their own. So they can actually play through the levels, design levels based on like, you know, just what they know and they can show this to their teachers or get other students to play it see if they can solve them it's just like that's a form of technology there they are using the game environment manipulating it for another person to play in and I just think that's really great I'm really glad for that so for the game environment itself I feel that 
it can easily be used as like all 2D and 3D ships that they can interact with just calculating that in their heads where they need to go just developing those higher order thinking skills and the numeracy with like distance and you know just the like, angles they have to go to it's just really basically them using the maths and science skills in a context that they would like to use it. It's like they always say that maths doesn't have any real world purposes or why do we have to learn it but you can see here that they need to learn it to solve these and obviously you'll get some students that will just fly through this they'll just know it. That's why I think it's good to have those puzzle makers where they can actually change the game layout because they may, there's probably some people that have played this before that can just shoot through it so they, they can always do that so people that are just like oh I'm so bored and then you'll come along and say well I think you could create a better chest chamber that you can test someone on yep so it's just basically just hammering it in there which I think is really great and looks like the video is just ending now so thank you for tuning in the basic thing that I want you to take away from this is that Portal is a very good game to use in a learning context because it engages students, they have fun playing with game based learning and also it is honing their higher order thinking skills. See you later.